What is your armor? Me? Yes. Uh, yes. three, four. Okay, and you have cover, mm -hmm. which will give you plus two, or we'll take two dice away from her. Oh, it's and the, the uh, range is negligible. The yasm is opening fire. Yep. Oh dear, I'm about to die myself. We'll see. <laughs> this game might be shorter than we thought. <laughs> <laughs> How many meters away from the square is uh, Osler? Uh, from the the fight, from there, maybe fifty. Uh, yeah, for rifles and such. Yeah, it's, doesn't matter. For heavy weapons or rifles or yeah, and anything a bigger than a pistol or a shotgun. I wrote down that she had it, but not what the damage because it. You want me to pull it up? So the same thing I've got, basically. Yeah. Just described differently. Well, she doesn't have a battery pack on it. It's a straight up. Oh, nice. The standard yeah. energy clip. She's got a bandolier of clips. Yes. But, but we'll have to take an action to reload every so often. Yeah. Probably won't come into relevance during this fight. This is how you deal with a sniper. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking aerial strikes, but you know, this works too. Damn, not good. Only three. Three. You'll hear that. Oh yeah. One at a time. One thing at a time. I've got to take out the mini boss before I can go out taking another mini boss and the boss. I don't think I'm going to be able to do all of that, though, on my own. Growl. Okay. I would like to spend a willpower uh, and lose my defense to activate the final form of Blunt Weapon Mastery so that I can uh, take her out in one hit <laughs> because I need to get out to other places. Uh, what is her defense? Uh, plus armor. Uh, armor minus one, rather. Uh, her defense is three, and she's not wearing any armor. Okay. So just minus three for my dice pool. Yep. Okay, that will do eight stun damage, and if and uh, apply uh, knockout if she can't beat that. That's a tough thing. <laughs> yeah, I think I set the bar pretty high. <laughs> this is basically gravity hammer from Halo. Yep, she down she goes. Boom! Knock her across the room. <laughs> <laughs> what does this room look like? It looks like a cargo bay. Uh, yeah. that they've set set up like uh a pews. Yeah. Um, and it, it goes forward into the ship. Um well the question now is, do I go try to get what we came here for? Hopefully finding it. Probably running into that other guy. Or do I run out and try to save everybody else who's in a lot of trouble right now? Yeah, you don't know that. Yeah. Well, I know that there's a he minigun just heard opening. The, he just heard the I heard a mini, I heard an explosion yeah. and a minigun going off. And a, and a sniper shot. So, so kaboom. <laughs> yeah. Well, two, two actually rifle rounds. Anyway, what are you doing? Uh, I gotta get what we came for, and then try to make a break for it. So I'll use my movement to uh, get further into the ship and okay. see if I can find something. Probably have to make that next time, the investigation rule. Yeah, yeah, that'll be next time. I hope you guys listening are liking the extra long episode this week as I attempt to kill your heroes. <laughs> we heard well, heroes. you pretty much succeeded at one. You're about to succeed at two with me. We, we might be protagonists. I don't think we're heroes. <laughs> uh, touche. <laughs> you didn't have any guns. Try for it. Okay. Oh, wait, no. Penalized by his defense. Give me a chance to die. Oh, you got to kill me. Okay. He tried to pick up uh, the, the... He thing. tried to take the gun off of the Nautilus. Oh. He tried to take one of his guns off of him. Yeah. 
is that? Zydanden. Yeah. We tried to take one of the guns. Yeah. So I basically saved him for nothing because he went right back to the dude and tried to jack a gun. He's right there. Yeah. Uh, he's stuck in the middle with Should gunfire all around him. He could try running and get punked in the back. Well, that's a good point. Because he did get pulled away. And there's a huge... There's still now he's going to return the favor and pick you up. I think he has. He has a strength there. Nah. He's going to drag you, attempt to drag you away. <laughs> Am I on the ground? Yeah. 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 Aggravated, I have to be on the ground. Well, unconscious, you have to go down. Yeah. I'm unconscious? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. From one box of bag? No, no, from lethal filling your box. Your yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. If the last box is bashing, you can attempt to make a test to stay over. Gotcha. Up. But once it's lethal, yeah, now you're down. And every stamina turns. You'll take another box. Three. Until you're stabilized. Yeah. It's enough movement. It's enough movement that he's going to be able to get you out of the line of fire of the big gun. Good. This gun does not have quick draw. So he will draw his double pistols. See the one that's the not one? Yeah. Okay. He's going to draw his double pistols and move to gain cover from the sniper. Beva is making a beeline for the side door that you guys came in. Yeah. How's that that blast area looking? I mean, do, do is anybody thinking I might want to consider coming through this area still, or mm, none of the immediate civilians know. They, the, the blast seems to have halted their progress. Oh, that's that's good. Con Laroon and the elder dash into the cathedral. Oh, oh. Kill steal. I'm just going to be surrounded with unconscious people. Nah, it's totally going to roll around. Uh, if I hit one of them, it might. Well, I Him, mean, she yes. Only, her she only had one. three defense, and I I still only rolled four on her. So. Checked. Hmm. Your companion is making a run for it. Yeah, I might find a pistol in one hand, thermal detonator in the other. Okay. There are some people in the alley, and as you guys are running, they like are yelling. Sabbath, basically, the, the gist is, you don't understand them because they're yelling in their native tongue. But it's basically, hey, they're going this way. Toss a and, thermal and, detonator in there so they can't And in the power. distance, you see Gail by a door. It's open, and she appears to be looking back this way. Go there. Please, Gail. Thank you so much. <laughs> she might be providing the way out of this. And you have... Oh, but the sniper doesn't have a con. Here's where it's going to bite us. <laughs> yeah. uh, at that point, run to Gale, get in the gun, start shooting people if they come in. Uh, uh, yeah, at that point, the I'm gun's going to be top. heads up, last man of the ship's rotten egg, and then I'm going to toss the thermal, the ther thermal detonator that's in my hand. While we're running, and I'm going to be tossing it backwards. Now, are you tossing it into the crowd, or are you just covering your retreat? Covering the retreat. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's it's a fear factor thing. I'm literally making them think twice about anything that they're going to do. <laughs> it's a thermal <laughs> freaking detonator. You're going to blow to the kingdom to come. Uh, well, the, you know what? Shit happens. <laughs> At this point, they're going to try to kill me. They're calling me out. They're all combatants now. People are going to die. I'm getting home. <laughs> you can't spend money if you're Slur. dead. Ow. It's been fun. Bye. I'm bailing. I'm getting the heck out of Dodge. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not getting paid enough for this. How are you? Uh, so you're basically running down the opposite side of the building? Yeah. They seem to indicate my ship is... Over by the power plant, so I'm gonna go. Gale did go that way, yeah. Yeah, so I'm gonna go round the way Gale went. Yeah. Okay. And I'm gonna try to re engage stealth. When I, as soon as I drop out of sight, I'm gonna try to be sneaky. Uh, okay, uh, give me a strength climb test first to get off the building. Or uh, dexterity uh, uh, to life fix to just do the tuck and roll. Okay. But that's reducing the falling damage. So, I don't know. Probably better to climb down. Mm -hmm. 
Then we're going to spend the willpower. Okay. Son of a crap. I got nothing. Ouch. Well, either way, he's going down. And that does give him cover against the big gun. Dexterity athletics. Well, there you go. Four. Okay. Uh, lucky for you. That's just enough. Mm -hmm. Oh, freak! You like you 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 run, like slide down, mm -hmm. and you were planning on grabbing the edge mm -hmm. to begin the climb down, mm -hmm. but you didn't quite grab it hard <laughs> enough. <laughs> so like, <laughs> you're falling. And then you kick off the side of the building and turn it and then land with your feet, which are your arms, I guess, and turn it into a roll. Mm. Okay. I was kind of picturing it like he was going to grab the top of the built roof or whatever, but with all that automatic fire in his direction, that section is already crumbling. Oh, no, it was on the up because it's on oh. the opposite side. Yeah, that's mm. true. Mm -hmm. All right. So you're yeah. down on the ground. Yeah, I said I was running for stealth, so. I mean, uh, make me a. Dexterity stuff. Minus four. For running. Also spending willpower on this one. Okay. Four. Okay. Now, the thermal detonator you're dropping, was that on a timer? Oh, yeah. We got to get a little bit of a distance through this thing. Okay. All right. Did you want to try to hide the fact that you were dropping this thermal detonator? Or are you just tossing it and obviously tossing something obviously tossing something i don't my intention is not to kill my intention is just to say not a good idea just just don't think about it okay and maybe create well, under they're running down them are they yeah they're casing anyway well it also oh he threw a rock at us really poorly it creates a debris field that makes it harder for them to get over as well <laughs> yes because i wasn't an ally uh well, this is going to be definitely a, what is it called? The cold-hearted bastard run? And Certainly not a feel-good run. Admiral is coming into the ship, too. Oh, boy. Not what I wanted to hear. And if you're really around or conscious to hear him give the order that he's giving. Zidan might be in range. Yeah, but he's an NPC. Yeah. He has no combo. I well, he know. does, but he doesn't know it. It's on the corpse. I mean, the the person who's almost <laughs> dead. <laughs> no, I think you had it right the first time. <laughs> I if we can get you to, if he can get you to the ship, you're good. Right, because who on the ship has the metal? Oh wait, that's me. No, there's a bakta <laughs> tank. We throw you in and call it a day. We got a bakta tank. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yes. We no, we don't. No, we have the full have a basic medical suite. Oh, you're right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, Asked for the pocket tank, and you're like, nah, we don't need that. <laughs> I didn't say that. Because honestly, I don't need it. I'm not in fights that often. And it is kind of my ship. I'm not trying to be. Whether in she ship. saw you run or not, mm -hmm. uh, she continues to pepper that building with blaster fire. <laughs> yes. Well, the roof of that building. Extreme prejudice. <laughs> and just chunks are flying. You hear them falling mm -hmm. on the street. Yeah, on the other side. Hmm. Yeah, that's real luck. My turn? Yep. Which investigation? All right. I will spend another willpower because I want to get this to happen. Three. All right. That's good enough to get to the cockpit. Okay. And your movement's sufficient to get you there. Okay. Because it's basically as you're moving up the corridor from the cargo bay. Room, 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 room. Galley. Captain's quarters. Or wardroom. And then the cockpit. Okay. And it seems like it's been set up to be the holiest of holies. Mm. Of the temple. Chair's been turned around. <laughs> Captain's chair. There is... Sarcophagus isn't the right word. I guess dais would be the actual term. But basically, they're, they've set to where their chairs would be 
is basically Durasteel crates that they've set up and dressed. And there is two sets of there's a set of remains on each. Mm. Uh, one of them is largely dust, except for the the bits of bone in the head and then the fingers of a moncal. Okay. And the other one is obviously a zabrak. Hmm. Are there? Let's see. We're here for relics. Is there anything that looks carryable that qualifies as a relic and isn't just bones? You do see a hollow projector there in the cockpit. Otherwise, you're going to have to make a, a intelligence a cult roll. <laughs> is the, the hollow projector just bolted to the floor? I'm assuming. No? How big is it? Yeah. It's like a personalized... Oh, it's like... Just, oh, just a handheld one? Yeah. And it would have the memory or like the data banks inside of it kind of thing? Presumably. Presumably. All right. Sounds like a plan. I'm snagging that and then I'm starting my run back out. All right. I'm, I'm assuming you don't care about the cables that are attached to it for power and stuff. Are you just going to like rip it out or are you going to take the time to put your weapon and shield down? No, no. I'm, I'm just grabbing it, ripping it out and stowing it somewhere. Okay. That's why heroes always have all those uh, pockets. <laughs> Alright, I mean protagonists. Okay. Now give me a strength stamina roll. This is a terrible thing. I just realized how many dice he has. Only two. That's good enough. Yep, out it comes. You hear the snap hiss of a lightsaber in the hallway. <laughs> I was assuming so. And the 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 sound of a door being opened and closed. Ooh, can it be like the lights are are, are flickering and it, and it's a raising very slowly and there's dramatic theme song playing in the background and the lights are. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's the like it's emergency lighting. It's like it's it's chemical paint, mm -hmm. like a, a glow in the dark strip. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's the only real lighting in this place. Well, that actually kind of fits, because when the lightsaber turns on, it definitely uh, lights up the room. Yes. And then it's matched by the electricity arcing on the uh, rather large stun weapon. Yep. <laughs> Is lightsaber going to be able to cut through that? Um, yeah, probably not the first hit, but yeah, he before if we were like crossing blades, it wouldn't take him long to disable this weapon. If I tried to just sit there and like hold his blade on my weapon, then he would just be slicing through it. Get him in one swing. Yeah. First, hope you have first initiative for the fight. You get to attack first. Spend willpower on that sucker. Well, I can spend willpower to activate my final form, or I can spend willpower for dice. The final form is going to be more effective. I hope. That's what I was meaning. For those of you listening at home who are curious, the final level of uh, the blunt weapon fighting style is you add its the weapon size as automatic damage, assuming you hit. Jaw-dropping moment, huh? Yeah. Holy crap. Wow, okay then. What was all that? Uh, Zidane just took a bunch of shots. Ouch. And is dead? No, because they were stunned. And he sur or stayed awake through each one? Yes, and then he succeeded to stay awake when his last box is full of that Wow. Shit. So he took <laughs> he ate every shot and then was just like, Ah! <laughs> After all the tor the damage been dealt to him in the last couple days and the nightmare he's lived through, he's still going. Yep. Hasn't slept in <laughs> two or I three days. Left his ass alone. 